Hello, how are you? In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Nordstrom anniversary sale for 2020. And we're looking at the clothing from the perspective of someone who's over 50, I'm 53, and I have a curvier figure. You know, I range, depending on the brand, between a size six and an eight. Once in a while, I kind of go over into 10, depending, you know, on if I'm kind of looking more in a junior's type of department or so. Um, and I have kind of more of an hourglass figure. So, you know, certain things just fit differently on, on me than people who have that, you know, super tiny, you know, size zero, size two frame, because I haven't had that in a very, very long time. I'm hoping that this video helps you make some choices and maybe have less to return or exchange or whatever. I've never actually done one of these videos before, uh, but I thought it'd be a good time to do it um, because I was looking at it and there's so many things I'm familiar with uh, that they have on sale. So let us pop over to the Nordstrom. All right, you guys, we are here at Fashion Valley Mall. We're gonna go check out the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Steve has come along with me, but he doesn't like me on camera. So I'm going to walk over there right now and check out the sale. Now heading out to the clothing department. Look at all the designer clothes they have on sale too. This is an addition to the anniversary sale. So if you happen to be interested in any of this, there are a lot of racks in this area. If you're shopping with the card member early access, they have everything that they have for the anniversary sale on each level kind of corralled in with these yellow bands. This is the Lafayette 148 New York Bernice Leather Moto Jacket. It's also available in red and it is such soft leather. I just love the zipper detailing on this. Super cute. Just taking a peek at some of the different things that they have here. This is one of the other jackets. Now here's a bunch of Barefoot Dreams items along with some Brass Plum pajamas. You need to make sure to look at all the racks though because right here there's a whole bunch more Barefoot Dreams on different racks. So don't think just because you found items in one area that they aren't also somewhere else. Here are a bunch of the awesome Spanx faux leather leggings. Love those. They're so comfortable. They look so good. I'm really bummed though this year they don't have the Moto ones on sale. I really regret not buying those last year. Those are the Moto ones that I really, really wanted last year. My friend has them. They look so good, but I just still haven't picked them up. They also have a lot of other Spanx items here. My favorite bras are by Notori. Here are a whole bunch of those. All right, here's my fitting room. I had an absolutely wonderful associate who helped me. She got me different sizes when I needed them and set up my room like this. All right now I'll start trying things on. I really thought I wanted to get one of these leather jackets and while it's very cute, somehow it just seems to cut me off too much. It's just a little too short. This shirt is by Frame and I have pants on by Spanx. The only problem is by Spanx, you'll notice that at my midsection, because they have such a wide tight band to kind of suck you in, it almost does it too much and I feel like it makes me bulge above and I don't really have a lot going on above that so I'm not sure about these. I do love the look um, but that tightness around my waist there, I think I need to wear a looser shirt or maybe just not a white shirt with it. But I really do love this shirt. Here's a puffer jacket by North Face. I thought it was really cute. I have a Patagonia one like this that I really love that is also on sale. I don't have it here because they didn't have my size. So I'll pop on and show you guys some stuff that's online that I couldn't find in store. The other problem this year is because of COVID, they're having to take clothes after they've been tried on and hold them for like 24, 48 hours before they put them back out for people to check out. So if you don't find something first round, you might want to come back again if you're going in store. And of course, look online. I absolutely fell in love with these pants by Sweaty Betty. I'd never tried the brand before, and because I'm not a fan of Elo Yoga, I found the quality on that just to be not very good at all. I bought two pairs of that at Christmas time when they had a good sale going on on their site because I heard so much about them, and they did not hold up at all. And when I tried to contact their customer service about one pair of pants that really was a quality issue, they never got back to me, and I emailed them twice. So I've been totally a fan of Lululemon because their customer service is so good. But these sweaty Bettys, they really hold you in like Lululemon and they seem to be something that would hold up well. This is a jacket by Sweaty Betty. Did not look like something I would ever pick up off the rack, but the sales associate recommended it, and I really, really love it. Isn't that so cute? And such a different look, and I feel like it doesn't make me look like I'm wearing a tent, even though it has kind of some layers to it. Absolutely love this, and look forward to 
getting more from this brand and branching out a bit from my Lululemon that I'm always buying. We're all working from home more now and I'm finding that my bras get really uncomfortable at the end of the day. So this one by Notori has no underwires and it's a bralette so it almost looks like a sports bra, kind of like I'm wearing half a tank top and it's super comfy. And this other one also that actually really is like you have put on a tank top, I think will be great when I'm just wearing t-shirts and working at home. And I've popped over to the Nordstrom website. This is a wish list that I had put together of clothes that I was interested in at the sale. And I had trouble finding some of these while I was in store. Now, looking at this, look how many are sold out. I absolutely loved all these different styles. They are so cute. I'm hopeful that if I go back in store and have more time, I didn't have a lot of time when I was in San Diego, I might be able to look and find these because of that try on rule where they have to hold things. So um, just wanted to kind of show you some of the things that were on my list. And again, so much of it is sold out. Um, this is one of my very favorite bras. I really thought one of these from Spanx would be good because sometimes when you're wearing things, you just want a clean line. The ones I have right now kind of cut off here above my waist. This is a really nice Nike sports bra and it was really marked down to a nice price. My daughter absolutely loves these. Again, this by Zella I wanted to check out because it just looked so cute. Look at the back of this. I was really interested in this by Notori too, but again, it's gone. So let's get to some things that weren't sold out. Now they do still have the North Face vests. Those are super cute. Now this jacket is the one that I have already. There are Patagonia outlets. There aren't very many of them, but I got mine there at an even better discount than at the Nordstrom sale. So if you live near Patagonia outlet, you should definitely check it out because they have some wonderful deals there. The North Face one that I tried on is still available. I also have this jacket by Patagonia. I wore this all the time in New York and Maine. I don't know if you saw on Instagram any of that trip. One of my favorite things to pick up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale is one of these Barefoot Dreams cardigans. They come in several colors and different styles. This one has kind of a shawl collar and this one here this is the light long weekend cardigan it doesn't have a collar at all uh, this one here the cozy chic light uh, that collar didn't look quite as good on me um, because i'm bustier than that model i don't know it just did not look quite as good on me uh, as this style i've got one like this or so two like this with hoods uh, which isn't on sale right now but if you don't get one of these here or don't like these styles or colors uh, you can check out hot look sometimes has them and I've seen them on Costco.com. If you're looking for a pair of jeans, I'd highly recommend a pair by AG. For my figure, they fit really, really well. Um, they aren't too loose in the waist. Um, they're roomy enough in the thighs and the hips. I find them to be very comfortable. They wear well over time, wash well. So they have some really cute styles here. Halogen has some really nice things too, and they're very reasonable. It's a great time to stock up on some camis. This is a very cute cardigan. I love to wear shirts like this with yoga pants in winter, especially. Ooh, and isn't this one a pretty pink? Oh, and look at the stripes. I don't know why I'm really into stripes right now. As I said, I love Notori lingerie. Their bras are just very comfortable. Even though they have underwire, you can wear them pretty much all day long before they start to get uncomfortable. Um, they are just really pretty too and i absolutely love all the styles that they have oh and they have fantastic sports bras i have a couple by them and they really hold the girls in place and they're not uncomfortable at all let's take a look at their blazers i just love blazers they are so easy to throw on over just anything and look good on a call I think this one button stretch crepe blazer by one state is super cute. I do not like the cami she has on underneath here, but look how cute it is. And I love the contrast fabric here. If you roll up the sleeves, very flattering fit here at the waist. This one by J. Crew is really nice too. And it comes in a few different colors. Of course, basic black. I kind of like the pink. I think that'd be fun. Or navy. It's funny. I find I wear my navy blazer that I have. It is actually J. Crew <laughs> more than the black. And I always thought I'd wear the black more often. Well, this blazer by Legends looks beautiful. This is the Chamberlain. And it looks really nicely cut. I like the venting on the sides very feminine and I just think this is a beautiful color it's called tawny beige it looks kind of peach oh my gosh look at this it's so beautiful look at the detail on it I believe this is faux leather trim 
oh, so many nice things, right? I know I got a lot of comfy things in there and some things we look nice for work on top because you know a lot of us are working from home, doing more Zoom meetings and all that. Uh, but hopefully this was really helpful for you. And I'd like to know if there's anything that you think is a must have in there that I missed or something, do let me and the community know down in the notes and speak in the community. If you haven't yet joined my community, I would love if you hit that submit, submit, that subscribe button and uh, submit the subscribe button. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. Also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and a share is always was appreciated. If you have a friend who you think would enjoy it, that would be awesome. YouTube will be suggesting a few other videos for you right now. Hopefully you will be able to uh, watch one of those and uh, keep hanging out with me. And if not, I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here and it's not goodbye, just so long till next time.